Now to discuss this further, we're joined by Professor Vikas Singh, author and columnist, joining us live from Hyderabad. So welcome to the broadcast. Thank you so much for having me here. So my first question to you, Prime Minister Modi met business uh, entrepreneurs, uh, business leaders, entrepreneurs uh, during his US visit. Many expressed optimism about India's growth story. So how do you think that this will translate into investments for India? I think this is a great uh, occasion for the Prime Minister to really market India. Uh, though India's uh, track record over the last 10 years has been exemplary. We are a democracy. I think the world has recognized India as not only a, a democratic uh, country, but also an economy with huge potential. You know, over the last 25, 30 years, we've been talking about India is a developing economy. But many um, in the international uh, forum have now started seeing India as more of a developed economy. Though um, our per capita income may not indicate that we are a developed economy as yet, but our our purchasing power, our demography, all points out to the fact that if you want to do business uh, anywhere, India is the place to be in. So not only will this visit uh, encourage investment uh, to come to India, but it will also showcase India as a place to, uh, to be in. We must see this whole um, uh, visit of the Prime Minister not only as how many dollars are flowing into this country in the next five years, but more also more as a statement that India's time has come, uh, the world has recognized India as the place to be in. Um, over the last 15 years, we've always been living in the shadow of China. The China is uh, the factory to the world. But India's time has come um, also because of uh, the challenges that China is facing with mm. relation to its political overreach, its, uh, its image has suffered because of uh, several political uh, fallout that uh, it has faced. Right. Uh, so in that sense, India is now considered to be the go place uh, for uh, business um, in this part of the world. Right, sir. Now, sir, also, what are the factors, in your opinion, behind the increasing interest of U.S. businesses in India? I think we are a great market. If you look at uh, the number of middle class consumers in India, it probably is equivalent to uh, the whole of Europe. Uh, our democracy supports us. The democratic system we have, the rule of law that India has, all this is encouraging for investors. Investors look at three factors basically when they want to invest or move money. One is, is there a market for uh, their product? India certainly is a huge market. The second thing that they look at is their investment safe, which means that uh, unlike Russia or China, the government is not uh, a, uh, a dictatorial where it can decide anything at the whip of a uh, signature. So that's the second thing. The third thing that they look at is their potential for the investment, because not everybody invests for the next two years or three years. Many of these organizations, large organizations who come enter into your market, invest for the next 15, 20 years. And in that sense, India's demography promises, at least for the next 25 years, that we are going to be a huge market. So these are the three factors, and India ticks all the three boxes very, very positively. Right. Well, sir, just uh, for better understanding here, where do you see India-US trade and investments in the medium to long term? That's about next five to ten years. I think we should be able to... Uh, so I'm not too much worried about the numbers. I think numbers can vary depending on uh, um, the economic condition in the next two, three years. But in the long run, it's good. I expect about $60 billion uh, to flow into India in the next five to ten years. But um, but if you, if you look at, um, I mean, the investment should be seen in a larger perspective. For example, every billion dollar that's invested in India creates a market for the Indian economy by a, at least another uh, two times more. So if somebody invests about a billion dollars in India, it means that uh, the Indian economy per se will also be encouraged to invest in the, uh, to match that figure. So investment should be seen uh, from that perspective rather than just what's the dollar flow info that's coming in. All right. Uh, well, uh, Professor Vikasin, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast with your insights on this. My pleasure. Thank you so much for having me here. Bye.